Today in the lab, we've got lifestyle and trend expert Lori Gelman, and she tells us that what is trending just might be you. So Lori, thank you so much for being on the show today. My pleasure, Clay, thanks for having me. So you're looking into your crystal ball at trends for 2012, and is there anything out there for the dads? Absolutely, I think it's gonna be the year of the dad. What are you talking about? It's been it's been tough for the dads the last couple of years. A lot of men have uh, lost their job in the workforce and they haven't been able to get back into it. So what we're finding is that a lot of dads are taking over the childcare responsibilities. They're picking kids up from school. They're taking them to the after school, to the gymboree. They're making sure they're on their play dates. I mean, it's gonna be a big year for dad. I think so, and we're also showing up in the marketplace, and you're actually seeing that on the television. More and more dads depicted in, in ads that you're seeing on TV. Yeah, it's the future. If the economy stays the way it is, I mean, that's what's going to be the big switch. Apparently, 34% of men who have wives that are in the workplace are now being the main caregivers. And actually, Baby Center just did a shopping um, rituals report, and they found that 26% of dads are now doing the grocery shopping. Well, that's certainly good news for us because we, we talk to dads all the time. We want to talk to them about parenting. So they're obviously more involved. Are they going online? Are they talking about it? Are they creating communities about being a dad? I think there are a lot of places where dads can go to uh, commiserate and commune. Um, certainly on the Baby Center Momformation blog, we have one, this guy, Scott Adler, he's called The Dadler. And he's, everything is from his perspective and he's terrific. You know, I think that da the dads need it. They need the support system just as much as women do. And I think women are more willing to support a dad who's sort of floundering and out there and not knowing what to do. And it's nice that they have, you know, the women's support group as well to, uh, to bolster them. So uh, you're looking at your crystal ball. What other uh, trends are you seeing for, uh, for 2012? Uh, other trends we're gonna be seeing, um, I think you, you're gonna see a lot of reality TV affecting the way pe uh, people are parenting. And, and I don't think that's such a good thing. I think uh, shows like Toddlers and Tiaras with these girls behaving badly and their mothers behaving even worse uh, is um, something that's giving people fame. And people at home are saying, gosh, you know, I can, I can do that. I can throw my kid on television and tell them what to do. And, or I can um, put a YouTube video up of my daughter singing Nicki Minaj. And, Boom, all of a sudden, you know, they all get flown over to the Ellen DeGeneres show and they get to instant stardom. I think that um, when parents think of their lives and think, well, maybe it's passed me by, but it's not too late for my kid to throw her under the bus and, you know, make her the, the star or whatever, because they get the, the, the backlash fame, the, you know, they, they, wave, they, they bask in the wave of the fame. Well, certainly there's got to be some people that, that look at that show and think, wow, that's what I want to be. But don't you think it's even more often that people look at that show and think, oh my gosh, what a train wreck, what a nightmare. It's like you watch it because that's the last thing on earth you want to end up being? Yes, yes and no. I mean, yes, it is a train wreck, but all of a sudden, you know, who's going to turn down their own reality show? Who's going to, you know, the Kardashians is also a train wreck, but people just want to be like them. They want, they want to be a part of it. And this, this celebrity obsessed culture we have is crazy. And if you're offered 15 minutes, you know, or 15 seconds even of internet fame or, or TV fame, a lot of people are going to take it. Um, you know, this is getting a little uncomfortable because actually we were. <laughs> and um, really? and uh, yeah, they shot a pilot. Um, and I have to say that the moment when they came in to film me reading a goodnight story to my daughter, that was awkward. So we said no. Actually, the networks didn't buy it. <laughs> <laughs> What's the antidote? What can we prescribe to families to, to work counter to this kind of reality show culture that's taking over? Do we, do we ban watching television? Are there reality shows that offer healthy models, something that we can offer as an alternative? I don't think that uh, banning television is the way to go about it. I think being smarter about the, the things you let your kids watch and the role models that they choose to uh, em emulate and you know, helping them pick the right sort of role model and not the sassy teenager on the Disney Channel or the, you know, uh, the Nickelodeon kid who's rude to his parents. Uh, I mean, I think you really have to be smart about the type of technology you let your kids uh, uh, handle and what you let your kids watch. I mean, we're seeing it a lot with the screen time is crazy now. I mean, I mean the, the American uh, Academy of Pediatrics, they don't even call it TV time anymore. They're saying two and a half hours of screen time because screens are everywhere. There's nothing we can do about it. And I think if we as parents are like this with our thumbs on our iPads, 
or our iPhones, that's, that's learned behavior. The kids are gonna do exactly the same thing. So we have to be the ones in 2012 to put that down, make eye contact, make sure that the time we have with the kids is quality time. And I know that's like a catchphrase and everybody's like, oh, let's have quality time, but we're not doing it anymore. Literally, it's like, oh yeah, we all spent the day together, but if everybody's on their eye touch or their other you know, electronic device, what kind of quality is that? You know what I think a great antidote to reality TV culture and technology overload is? Family dinner. No, I agree. And even though a lot of times we'll sit around the table and, and you'll say, well, how was your day? And I don't want to talk about it. Or, you know, ultimately something will get things going. We used to actually put, um, the, you know that game headbands where you wear the headband with like a person's, either a person or a, an animal or something on it. And if we had nothing to talk about, we'd play the headband game. And that sort of gets conversation going. Oh, that's very cool. Well, Lori, thank you so much for joining on the show today. We really do appreciate it. Thanks, Clay. Well, that's all for us this week here at Dad Labs.